Hi guys, my name's Beth. I'm a nature guide with Wild in the City. Even though we're on lockdown, there's still lots of incredible wildlife to enjoy during our daily exercise. Today I'm in one of my local parks to enjoy springtime as plants come into full bloom. So as we walk through, I'm just going to say what I see so we can get to identify some of the plants growing here. These are cow parsley, also known as wild chervil. Much of this hedgerow is made up of blackthorn. It's the plant that gives us sloes for those that like their gin. We've just missed their beautiful white blossoms. But another distinguishing feature are these long, sharp thorns. This is hawthorn, a very common plant in hedgerows. Here we have some hawthorn in flower. It's beautiful, delicate flowers. It's April now, they typically come out in May, giving it its common name of Mayflower. Later on in the year, there'll be some beautiful red berries that are, are delicious as a jam or a fruit leather. This is Creeping Charlie, with its beautiful purple tubular flowers. Traditionally, it was used to flavour ales, giving it its other common name, ale hoof. This is cleavers, also known as goose grass. It's a very sticky plant that's great for throwing at your siblings because it sticks to your clothes. I love these hollowways that the hedgerow forms. It feels like being wrapped up and cocooned in this gorgeous verdant green. This large leafed plant is known as hogweed or cow parsnip. This is horseradish and it's very distinctive smell on a warm day when you walk through the park your nostrils fill with that radishy mustardy fragrance. Sank foil, stinging nettles, dead nettle, a white dead nettle, red dead nettle, this is one of my favourite hedgerow plants. This is Jack by the Hedge. And its other names are hedge garlic or garlic mustard. It has this delicious, very mild flavour of garlic. And it's great as a, a salad leaf or as a pesto. And it gets its name from the traditional name for the devil being Jack. And the devil's breath was said to smell like garlic. So that's where it gets its name, Jack by the Hedge. The bird we can hear is a chiff chaff. It's a spring migrant to the UK. And it's said to sing its name. Chiff chaff, chiff chaff, chiff chaff. This is Woodavens, also known as Herb Bennett. It has roots that have a very lightly scented flavouring of clove. It's another plant that was used to flavour beer. This tree here is the wayfaring tree. With these beautiful white blossoms. It typically grows along pathways, giving rise to its name, the wayfaring tree. This is a dandelion with its jagged edged leaves. Buttercup, Elm, Gelder Rose, Green Alconet, Sycamore. This is Ribwort Plantain, not that kind of plantain. This is a Mallow, it's in the same family as Okra. This is Elder. These beautifully scented white flowers can be used to make cordial or champagne. And later on in the year, we'll have deep purple berries that can be used to make delicious jams and jellies. This is an oak tree. Here we can see its lobed leaves and the male catkins hanging down. This is a field maple. London's full of amazing wild places. You don't have to go far to feel like you're in the countryside. Well, that was just a short walk in less than 60 metres of hedgerow, but with lots to see. 
more next time.